Sup nerds, I'm Tom. Let's talk about the archaeologist's expansion for museum. Now we do already have a full Our Thoughts video for the base game of Museum. You can go ahead and check that out. But in this video, we're just going to talk about what this expansion adds. And what it adds is kind of sort of a worker placement uh, element to it. And that's what that's at least what they have been sort of advertising it as. You know, the, you have all these little workers and you get to place them out there. But I think it's more like you're advancing on tracks. How the game first starts out, this one does actually change the gameplay a bit more than any of their expansion. Everything else just adds extra elements that you could or could not do. Like you could sort of ignore the other elements in uh, People's Choice, World's Fair, and Black Market and just play the regular game of museum and not even think about those other parts. Well, in this one you kind of can't because you start out not being able to take any cards from anywhere unless you have presence there. Unless you have one of your workers in uh, one of the, one of, uh, at the first spot of one of these tracks for America, Pacific, Europe, Africa, Middle East, Asia, you know, in those areas. And actually, you do start with one. So at the very beginning of the game, you can at least pick from one uh, deck. You do have that mandatory needing to draw one card on your turn, at least. You do that after you get your um, endgame scoring card, so you can at least tailor it a little bit. Then from there, you just need to pay two. Uh, to place a worker in any of the other continents to get, you know, sort of presence there. And then from there on, if you want to do a little bit more, like, so on your very first turn, right, you already start with one out there, you could just plop six money out, plop six, discard six cards, six money worth of cards or whatever, and put a worker pop, 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 in, each in each region, whatever you call it. And uh, then you're pretty much just playing museum, right? You can take from anywhere, no big, no big deal. But once you have a worker, let's say if I have in America, I have a worker here in this two spot. Well, then there's another spot up this track a bit that is, it costs four to place there. But once you place there, you now have a special ability every time you draw a card from that area. You can either, every time you take a card, you can draw a favorite card. You can gain a point. Or this last one is kind of less exciting, but it's that you can still draw a card from this deck even if it's closed. I think you just draw it from the top of the deck. So a little bit less exciting in that, but it is kind of worker placement-y in the fact that once I go to a spot, you can't take that spot. So if America Pacific, I go to the spot that is every time I draw a card there, I get to draw a favor card. Well, you can't also go there. So I guess a little bit different from advancing on tracks in that aspect, but this whole thing does feel like a track. I come here and then I move up a little bit more. And then this last one here, is um, I can either get four points on the scoreboard or I could get three point tokens handed to me. But the first person to get here will get 15 points and the second person will get seven points. So again, it does feel like we're advancing on this track. First person advanced all the way to the end gets a bonus. Um, and it's very cool, very interesting. I like it a lot. It, it changes the game up a whole bunch because again, from the from the get-go, from the onset, you have to now do things differently and think about things differently versus you just have other options that you could or could not do. And of course you get new experts and headline cards and favorite cards and everything to, to work with this. But I will say that I think this is my second favorite expansion. I still think the World's Fair is the best, in my opinion, it's my favorite one that's out so far uh, because it adds, you know, player interaction. It adds a really cool concept, uh, more ways to get points, more interesting ways. It, it changes your strategy up a bit because ones are more important now. Um, but it is still something that you could completely ignore and still just play the base game like normal. So it's really integratable with your first time playing museum. I did play this with somebody who it was his first time playing museum and he got it pretty quickly. But it, it did take, it wasn't as fluid, you know what I mean? It's like, well, I think I understand what I'm doing with this. And, you know, how does this change that? And, oh, oh I want to, okay, well, that's, this is my strategy. So I want to take this card. Oh, wait, I can't because I don't have any presence there. Okay, well, how do I get presence there? And I don't know how much I love that aspect of can't draw unless you have presence there. Because it's so easily avoidable. Just your first turn, spend six, and then, boop, you have presence everywhere. Like, I mean... I don't really see why you wouldn't do that. Like, yeah, sure, losing six from the very get-go is, isn't so great, but it's almost kind of worth it just to not be restricted. You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just talking out of my butt here. But also, you do only get 10 workers, so 3, 6, 9, 12. You can't get to the end of every single track, even if that's your strategy and you bum rush it. So you have to think about that a little bit. But, I mean, I still don't think that is a huge detriment to the fact that there's a lot of points here and you're probably going to want to you know spend a lot of time over here because think about it if one person gets to the end of three tracks which is what you could do uh that's 45 extra points 
That's nothing to sneeze at. So I think my recommended buying order would probably be uh, the World's Fair and then this, or maybe the Black Market if you know you like to take that, but I don't know, I, th I do think this one's better. Um, and then the last one is of course the People's Choice, but we'll get to that in another video. I'm gonna put links to the base game and this expansion in the description box down below and I'll, I'll throw some other links down there as well. Why not? Go ahead and grab yourself some copies and while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored.